Scott's Cliff here from Down Under. In this video I want to go into a spindle type dial indicator holder. What's the making of this J-type clamp? If you've got a CNC machine and you'd want to make one of these, you can profile out this shape and I'll go into a method of holding a part which is to be profile machined that you could call uh, standoff holding or packer holding. You know, some jobs are difficult to hold. You just can't easily hold them in the vise because you're profiling right around them. Um, so you have to use some other method. You know, use adhesive on the bottom or use tabs. And another method is to use standoffs or packers. I'll go into that method in this video. Of course, it requires having holes or some feature in the part that allows you to put bolts through the part um, but it may be that there's already holes or some feature there or you may be able to just put holes in some non-critical area. Okay well let's look at work holding using standoffs. So this is ready to go now. I've got it mounted down one end of the table. I've got the vise on the other end. Um, that's a good idea to have your vise down one end and it allows space to set up other jobs on the other end. It also means that your ball screw and uh, slideways wear more evenly, evenly over the length of the ball screw and slideways and not wear out a hollow in the middle if you just put your tooling and your work in the middle. All right, so let's have a look at this. So we've got T-nuts down in the T-slot there. We've got these standoff bushes or bosses and we've got some cap screws going through the part. Now you want the cap screws to be or, or bolts to be as small as possible um, to take up uh, the least space to give you more machining clearance but obviously they have to be big enough to have the strength to hold the part down securely on top of your standoffs and the same thing you need a certain diameter depending on the size of cutter you're using and so on so this is a 16 millimeter diameter uh, top on the standoff and a six millimeter cap screw or a quarter inch if you like um, and that's yeah that's lining up there now so I just need to crank that up run a dial indicator along the edge there and I can start machining. Now that is probably about as small as you want to go for um, general machining, six millimeters. You might get away with five millimeters. Uh, because the standoff is quite short and squat, it's got a big foot on the bottom, it's going to be quite secure. You've got a lot of frictional grip down on top of the standoff. You're not relying on the screw to provide the strength and the rigidity, just a tensile force. So you might get away with five millimeters, but I'm playing it safe. I've got room for six millimeter. Um, you know, a lot of people think, oh no, you need eight or 10 or 12 millimeters. You need a big bolt to hold it. But really you're just using the cap screw or the bolt to give you a tension down on top of the standoff that's the table and the standoff is providing you with the stiffness and the rigidity and the support that you need. And of course you're taking advantage of your T-slots. If you don't have a tooling plate on top of your table and you have a T-slot table, you can slide the uh, standoffs to whatever pitch you need to suit your part. And so that's an advantage in having a T-slot table. I'm going to set X, Y, 0 based on that front right corner. So that is probably aware of this. You can change the uh, software to probe that front right corner. And I can probe Z and set work origin. And there we are, we're all set up. 
make sure you've got enough Z clearance for your rapid moves to clear the top of your cap screws or bolts. Here we are, run time of just a few minutes. Who needs a laser cutter? So with just two 6mm cap screws, that was plenty rigid enough. That's a 12mm thick 6061 aluminium, but it would have been fine even in steel because you're pulling it down on those very well supported little standoff bosses there. So there wasn't any chatter or any sign of flex that was fine in that situation. So let's have a closer look at those tools. So the standoffs or packers or circular parallels, um, they're 16 millimeters diameter and the small diameter, 34 and the large diameter, and the two steps and height are about 10 millimeters. That seems to be quite a good size. Uh, with a 6mm hole through the middle for medium sized small machines like the Tormac. Um, so that's the sizes there. Quite a quick job to make those simple parts and you can use this for multiple jobs because it's a fairly universal size. You can use them over and over for different jobs. Well, thanks for watching that video on the uh, dial indicator holder. I hope you found something useful there. Catch you next time. Cheers.